So what do you say when your clients ask you the question? Well, how much do you charge? How much is it? What's your response? How do you handle this objection? Now, before I teach you exactly how to handle this objection, you have to understand why they're asking that and when they're asking is also very critical. Example, if they're asking you this question, how much is it? You're just two, three, five minutes into your conversation. It could be on the phone, could be face to face. It means that they want to get to the bottom line. They want to know, just tell me how much it is. I don't, I don't care what your feature benefit. I just want to know if this fits my budget. Now, the minute you give out the price, you tell them this is how much you've lost all control because you have not taken the time to build up the needs to discover exactly what they're looking for before you give them the price. So when you tell them the price, they say it's $10,000, it's $50,000, it's $100,000. Right there, the minute you gave them the price, you've lost your power. Because now, all you could do is wait for your client to say, you know what, nope, that's too expensive. Nope, I don't wanna pay for that. Or nope, that's, that's, that's not what we thought that we were gonna spend. Then we're gonna do. Now you have to go into what I call justification mode, right? Oh, but but we are so good that our product is better that we've been in business for X amount of years and, and all this shit. Now you turn into this salesperson, right? You don't want to do that. So if it's in the very beginning of the conversation, when your client is asking you, so how much is it exactly? You should redirect. Redirect the conversation, going back to the needs and find out exactly why are they talking with you in the first place. So in the beginning, when they ask you the question, how much is it? You would simply reply, it depends. It depends. And then they might say something like, well, it depends on what? Well, it depends on exactly what you're looking for. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're looking for? Boom, you go back to their needs. You go back to their wants. You go back to why are they talking to you in the first place? Now, if it's somewhere, let's say after the middle of the conversation, it's the end that you've done everything that I teach you. They, you, you are qualifying them. You find out about their needs. You've done all those steps and now it's more near the end. You are actually talking about money and they say, well, how much is it? Now, whenever you give them a price, let's say it's $10,000. You don't just say, well, how much is it? Or it's $10,000. Oh. And then all they're gonna say is either it's okay, but most people, they would say, oh, it's too expensive, it's more than I thought. It's a very natural response from your buyer. So what do you do? You want to also continuously ask the next question. So it would sound something like this. Well, how much is it? Is it? It's $10,000. Are you comfortable spending that kind of money? Or it's $10,000. Is that within your budget? So right there, you take the next question and you go deeper, right? You go to the next step. And they will, they will, they will say, oh yes, or they'll say no. Now, if they are giving you resistance on price and that goes beyond in this particular video, this is what I, what I teach in high ticket closers. I teach you how to handle some of those objections. But for now, for now, knowing that if they ask you that question, you always want to redirect. You don't really just want to say, blur out the price without something else. Sometimes, if it's, some, if it's somewhere in the middle of the conversation, they ask you, well, how much does it cost? If they are pushing and pushing and pushing, you can also give them a range. You give them a range of, oh, it's, it depends on what you need. Let's say you are a, a graphic design person and you are developing a logo or a brand or something for them. And they're asking, well, how much is it gonna cost me to, for, to do all these design packages and all that? Well, you know, anywhere from five to $10,000. How do you feel about that? and you just shh and listen and see what they have to say. Now they might say, oh, okay, that's what we were thinking roughly to spend, okay. Or they might say, oh, whoa, that's, whoa, 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 hold on a second. That's way more than what we wanna spend. Then you can go back to handling the objection. So be very, very careful when your prospect's asking you, how much is it? So it depends on when, depends on the timing, you will handle it differently, but knowing in traditional sales, the buyer always has all the power because they have the money, but that's not true. In terms of high ticket closing, when it comes to how much, we as a closer, we have the power. We need to control when we want to review price, when we don't want to review price, maybe it's too early and we haven't built up the demand, we haven't created the needs, so it all depends. But you want to retain and remain powerful 
you want to retain that power so you can lead them to the end and close that sale. If you want to learn more about high ticket closing, if you've been following my work for some time now, and you feel like, you know what, Dan, love your video, I want to learn from you. Here's what you can do. Click the link below and join me on my two hour masterclass, where I go much more in depth. It's a preview webinar that goes through what I do. And if you enjoy that, then if you are very serious, you can join me on my seven week program on high ticket closer. I only teach this a few times a year. You've heard about it, maybe you haven't, but if that's what you wanna do, join our global movement. Right now we have students in over a hundred countries learning this and doing this. I promise you, you've never seen a community like this. You've never learned a skill like this. It's not what you think. On YouTube, it's so limited because I can only teach you for a few minutes. In High Ticket Closer program, every single week is a virtual live class where I teach you for three to four hours every single week and you get to role play with your brothers and sisters, HTC, around the world, how to hone and how to master this skill. So if that's what you want to do, click the link below and I'll see you in class.